for the elevator. If you thought I was excited for the Santa Claus Martha May dress, Amp that up times 10 because I'm going to be showing you how I made her holiday jubilation dress and this headpiece. Like, excuse me? Is it time to open up present? It's like, it's like more than just a vibe. This is Christmas, okay? And it wasn't even that hard. It didn't cost very much. And it only took me like, I don't know, a couple of hours to do. I don't wanna keep you waiting. So in this house we craft in pajamas, let's get to it. I started with the leftover velvet from my Martha May Santa outfit. I had just enough to make this corset. I placed, pinned, and cut every pattern piece intentionally and worked slow and methodically because I only had a little bit of fabric to work with and I wanted to make sure I didn't make any mistakes. You might not think it, but velvet is a very slippery material, and so I need to use a lot of pins to secure each pattern piece where I want it as I'm sewing. And I sew over my pins, I work very slowly and very carefully until everything is stitched together. There are three layers of fabric in this corset. The outer layer, which is the velvet, and then the two inner layers, which are meant for structure and comfort. Once all three layers have been stitched, I seam them together and sew in the boning channels. Then I measure, cut, and sand each plastic bone before inserting them into their respective channels. I cut a long, thin rectangle of fabric to stitch onto the bottom of the corset. This will bind all of the layers and make it so the bottom of the corset is completely closed up. I prefer to hand stitch this part because I don't want any of the stitches to show through on the front part of the corset. Then I punch the grommet holes. I like to use E6000 glue in between the grommets for extra strength. I do the bottom grommet, put on a little bit of glue, and then put the top grommet on and use my pliers to press everything together. Lastly, I cut a small rectangle of green tool fabric, pleated it together, and then hand stitched it onto the top part of the corset. For the skirt, I'm using this fabric from a dress that I made last year and never wore because it was a really poorly constructed dress that I made in 30 minutes and now I want to turn it into something that I'll actually wear. So I'm unpicking the top part of the dress and then sewing in a casing on the hem of the dress and adding in a little ribbon so that I can tie it around my waist and that's literally it. Moving on to the wig, and the wig is really just my own hair with a headband that has hair glued all over it. I started by making a bunch of hard stock cubes, and I measured and cut them to all be roughly the same size. I glued them all together and then painted them to be the same color as the hair that I'm using. That way if any of the cardstock peeks through, it's just brown and you can't really tell that it's, you know, cardstock. I worked in small sections and used small chunks of hair, and I just glued everything directly onto these cubes. I wrapped and glued hair one way and then wrapped and glued hair in the opposite way. That way it's kind of like all wrapped together. Honestly, the hardest part about this is just waiting for the glue not to be hot anymore because I have this innate desire to touch the glue before it's, you know, not hot and I always end up burning my fingers. Here are all the little hairy presents that I wrapped. Now it's time to put some ribbon on them. The best method I found for wrapping these with the ribbon was to just stick them upside down in this roll of tape. That way they didn't like wobble everywhere. And then I just glued the ribbon onto the bottom of it. Oh, side note, I put a little piece of black felt down there just to keep everything contained. Then I just tied the ribbon up around the little hairy presents and curled the ends. And I gotta tell you, as I was curling the ends of these ribbons, I started getting really excited about the end product because look at all these little presents. They're kind of hilarious. I decided to glue all the little presents onto this headband because I want to use my real hair with this hair piece. Um, I maybe want to just show up to Christmas holiday family things uh, really, you know, decked out and without a wig on. So here I am gluing them all on. It got really dark, but I couldn't stop myself uh, from working on this because it's literally 10 times better than I ever thought it was going to be. Considering the fact that I had no idea if this was even gonna work or look good or even like stay up, uh, the fact that we're this far is a total win. But look at this, the tiny little presents, like they are so cute. 
you're probably just gonna go like right in here just to kind of like fill in. I accidentally put this present too far that way, so I've got a big gaping gap right here. So I'm just gonna like fill in that spot and then just balance it out on this side. But this is almost done and it's looking spectacular and I couldn't be happier about it. It's kind of nice to be reminded that you're like actually good at what you like to do sometimes. You know, that's nice. I definitely pulled hair out of the trash to make those tiny little presents. And trying it on for the first time, I feel like Martha May herself. I'm ready to host. For her jewelry, I just got these red and white jingle bells and glued them onto each other and then glued them onto like those plastic beads that you can get from like Mardi Gras or like the dollar store. And I just formed them into a necklace and a pair of earrings. love the way that this outfit turned out. I love the way the photos look. We just stumbled upon this location. We were driving through town. We were originally planning on going somewhere else, but then this building caught my eye and I was like, stop, we have to park. This is perfect. So we got out and took some pictures. Why was this costume so easy? It's just a skirt and a corset. In the original movie, the corset does have little polka dots on it, but I couldn't bring myself to burn the polka dots into the velvet corset that I made because I want to be able to reuse it for like a multitude of costumes, especially like Christmas themed costumes. So I didn't burn the holes into it, but you definitely can if you wanted to make it more screen accurate. And technically the skirt is made of tulle and mine is really more of like a chiffon and it's got big gold polka dots on it, but I don't care. It's close enough and it looks good and I like it. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. More videos are on their way soon. I've got more holiday things coming up very quickly, so don't miss out on that. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, in this house we craft in pajamas. Look at that nose contour. Petite nose, regular nose.